Well, Harry Coles, the UK political editor for the online political magazine The Commentator, he joins us now from our studio in Westminster. Harry Coles, what's your um, thought about why Andrew Mitchell didn't just clear everything up today when he apologised? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? It's been an absolute PR disaster this morning. The Andrew Mitchell had a chance to shut this story down, and he should have done it. He should have been in front of a camera on Friday. And he said he made a very clear statement, and he's being very clear about things. He's not being clear. Saying I'm being clear about something and then running away from a, a specific question makes him begin to look like he's got something to hide. When this story first broke a couple of days ago, people around Andrew Mitchell, friends of Andrew Mitchell, were very sceptical that he'd used the words pleb. They, uh, they didn't want to get in, drawn into the swearing, and now we had the Sunday Telegraph yesterday reporting that he, that he, did, he, he concedes that he did swear. So he's given sort of three, two different versions of events, and it's just dragging on and on when it should have been shut down days ago. I mean, it's sort of prime thick of it territory, this, <laughs> exactly. isn't it? That, um, you know, it's, it's probably not actually um, the abuse that he caused, but it's the political climate exactly. of the time that I makes think, this so yeah, relevant. This, is just, this just has come up possibly the worst time for David Cameron. He wanted to come out of his relaunch two feet on the ground, running hard, going into conference season, getting away from the last six months, which have been pretty terrible for the government. And here we have Andrew Mitchell, not a classic Cameroon. He was David Davis's campaign manager, throwing an absolute grenade into that. And uh, it, it really cements what, what Labour have been saying for years and what people have, have kind of suspected about this government is that it is, a, it is run by a clique and uh, they're an out-of-touch posh boys. And although I think that's sometimes unfair on David Cameron, when he got his ministers doing things like that, it just doesn't look good. And it, it's dragging on and on. We need a, he needs to come out and really sort of clear up what he said. Even if it is now an on-camera admission of, of swearing, um, he just needs to, to, to sort of shut this down ASAP. And that has to be done through uh, being honest. What, uh, what do you think the Lib Dems, how should they choose to play this? Uh, because, you know, it's an interesting one whether they have to back their coalition partners and something like this or whether they make capital, as we saw Vince Cable couldn't resist a few kind of quick, cheap laughs at conference. No, that line wasn't in the, uh, in the, in the uh, copy of the speech that was emailed out, which makes me think that Vince uh, added it himself without clearance, which is fair enough. Lib Dems are in their conference season. This is their time for their differentiation strategy, as it's being called, uh, in kind of thick of it language. Um, this, is their, this is where they need to be shown to, to their grassroots and to the media that they are different from the Tories. There is a bit of water between them. And if it's a cheap shot at Andrew Mitchell, who can blame them? Because it's, uh, it's easy and, uh, and also fair enough. <laughs> Any thoughts about how the Sun got hold of this one? Well, there's uh, been some eyebrows raised, and I think this is good for the tabloid industry and it's good for newspapers, because as long as no money has changed hands, as long as the Sun, and I doubt very much after the year they've had, paid money for this uh, statement uh, given by the copper, this is good old-fashioned journalism. This isn't, this isn't, this is whistleblowing, and this is what papers should be doing. They should be making contacts with, uh, with people like that, and they should be getting these stories out there. Well, I mean, you say, you say whistleblowing or, or good old-fashioned journalism. Presumably you're saying um, the, the police officer who was verbally abused went straight to the sun because it was a jolly good story. Well, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a, a, apparently it was said to be a supervisor who compiled the report. Um, but, you know, as long as no money has changed hands, I don't think, uh, I don't think any problem here. It's, it's, it's quite, so, quite strange to see people like Tom Watson, the Labour uh, sort of cheerleader who has been running, uh, running the, the Murdoch war for the Labour Party the last year, having to start tweeting these uh, stories out because, um, because it, it is a good story. And, you know, if he, he's they're pulling off the... Tom Watson's pulling back the troops and saying, you know, this is a good story, this is, this is what the Sun should be doing. As long as no money's changed hands, I think people are getting a little hysterical if they're worried about this. Great to talk to you. Harry Cole, thanks a lot.